Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click subscribe and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, Deron plus 10 shot dead, then the gun attack in Portmore, teen missing and more. The police in Lindsay St. Catherine are yet to make a breakthrough in the blazing daylight murder of a senior citizen who has been described as a good Samaritan. Elroy Taylor, otherwise called Red Cap, 69-year-old labor of Wonder Lane in Bogwalk, St. Catherine, was killed on Sunday. Trust me, he would clean businesses, buy cash pot, deposit money, whatever you want, he would assist. He was a good Samaritan of the Lindsay business community, businessman Delroy Health said. Meanwhile, businesswoman Dorothy said greater emphasis needs to be placed on monitoring motorcyclists. The police need to clamp down on bikers in and around Linstead as a pure wickedness happened to people by bikers, she said. About 10.30 a.m. on August 28th, Taylor was reportedly taking money to a financial institution when a motorcycle with two men aboard approached him in the vicinity of Linstead Baptist Church. The pillion reportedly brandished an handgun and fired shots hitting Taylor repeatedly. As he fell, the attacker grab the bag containing an undetermined sum of cash and escape. Me strongly agree with Dirty. Most of the criminals them I bike them use for them do. And if I not bike them go rent people car, go do them do and then abandon the people in vehicle on the roadside. So when we tell you about robbery, on a look out for the bike man them because them not partial nobody when it comes to robbery. Yes, see when we tell you about drive by, look out for the rent vehicle them. The criminals them love go rent the people in vehicle for go to drive by. Because it hard lead back to them, the criminals are always the owner for the vehicle and the police them are gonna dig up and search up. And if them the owner can give a proper explanation as to who them rent the vehicle to, best believe that the police probably just drop the case and move on. So that is the reason why them always go for the rent vehicle them. On the most know why them go for the bike them. Easy grab and go. In this scenario, I strongly believe say them are watch this man for a while. Yeah. It often be somebody when know him well and know say yes. This man we got deposit money here and there. So basically them study him regular routine. That one like one point of watch him, watching him collect the money and all of that. And then them just attack him, dash him away and take all the money. As to what the people them say he was a good Samaritan and the police is yet to find a motive for the killing. So obviously, the money was the main factor. Them probably never want to dash him away. But them never want to give a sure for unsure. Who will tell if the man would come back home in farm and them. So them do do do. Take with the money. Go and them business. So the moral of the story is. On a need for pay close attention when they depend the road. And bear in mind say. People know no business more than how to know it. Despite several efforts, police have not yet been able to recapture any of the four prisoners who escaped from the Ocherius lockup in St. Anne almost four weeks ago. None of them have been recaptured, but we are working on catching them, acting ACP Powell told our news team. Reports were that about 1 a.m. on August 5th, police officers on duty performed routine cell checks. Shortly after, sounds were heard coming from the direction of the cells and police went to investigate. An alarm was raised when four prisoners were discovered missing. Police stated that investigations indicated that they used something to cut a section of the metal gate of the cells, allowing the prisoners to escape. Again, to me, this is rubbish. You mean for tell me, say, them in the cell I cut a metal gate for come out and none of the police officers them they notice. You know how long the metal gate they supposed to take for what depending upon what they might use. And what they might use for cut it, I must something simple and something small because if them that use something big for cut the gate, you would have hear it and you would have say. So after something small, obviously they were cutting that gate over time. That a if I get them cut for real. So all the police them na see them na hear nothing. That not really sit well with me. Next week it will be one solid month and not one out of the four of them can be captured. And not just that. Out of the whole four, one of them charged with RAPE. So let me see how long we going to have him a room on the street. For make him do what him do already for in there four or five more time and then on the carry back go lock him up. 
An auto mechanic was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting in Waterford, Portmore, St. Catherine on Tuesday. The deceased is 30-year-old Deron Fuller of Chantilly Road in Waterford. The Portmore police reported that about 10.30 p.m., Fuller was at his gate in his community when a Toyota Probox motor car with gunmen aboard drove up. The men opened fire, hitting Fuller several times. The wounded man was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The police are probing the development. <laughs> <laughs> the second such murder that recorded in Portmore on Tuesday. It was reported that 31 year old service station pump attendant Chevelle Lewis was shot dead by men traveling on a motorcycle sometime after 4 p.m. The incident occurred at a gas station along Grange Lane in West Cumberland, St. Catherine. The police believe that Lewis' murder may have been steaming from a gang feud in her central village community, also in St. Catherine. And St. Catherine is back at it again. I'm going to tell you something, man. Not one of the videos them the pretty at all. It's disturbing bad. Only can hear from the recording say, not no nice now there so so viewers and subscribers for once you're interested in seeing the full unedited version of those videos all you have to do i go down below in the description click the link where you want to sit down there it will lead you to any one of our telegram group or whatsapp group just go on in there go and go watch the video and make me hear what to think down below in the comment section or if you want to leave it over the group no problem but me need enough to see this so if you don't know how to go down in the description and you're still in interested in seeing it no problem just run on over to our instagram page at chop city tv that is c-h-o-p c-i-t-y underscore tv send us a message ask king for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible remember these men will go above and beyond just forget what they want done done them can't get your yard so them come our workplace for her. them come find out what time she work and all of that the location and everything and then pop up a work for her. them the response man may i tell you them don't care so uno as the people who have the information help the police them help on self may i tell you no viewers and subscribers we have made it to the end of our next video thank you guys for watching catch you guys next time i'm out to stay blessed and stay safe